in Unify Network Applications under the Traffic Login setting for Activity Login, there is a setting about Net Console. If you check the further information, it mentioned three important different things. It sent what? Kernel logs. From where? From Unify Devices, not just this gateway. And to where? To the remote Net Console server. So in this video, let's explore this option. On the screen, I show you three articles. Let's see what's Net Console first. Don't be confused. Net Console is not referring to a server, a standalone software, or a functionality of a client. No, it is a Linux kernel module. So this module logs kernel print K messages over UDP. Because you know unified devices, they all run on Linux. That's why the same Net Console module also works in unified devices. Then let's see what's print K. If you have ever programmed in C language, you must know print F, right? In fact, print K is based on printf. It is used in Linux kernel. It is the standard tool to print messages, the most basic way of tracing and debugging for Linux kernel. In the right side, I show you the linuxkernel.org document regarding the net console. You can see the history is traced back all the way to the year 2001. You can see from the introduction, the original purpose for the net console is to allow debugging of problem where disk logging fails and the serial consoles are impractical. Let's first see the net console module in Linux kernel. In the lower right terminal, let me SSH to a E7 access point. If I list the modules trying to find net console, I don't see anything. And if I go to etc module probe.d, there's no such folder. But there is a net console related configuration file and there's sys init. So here you can see unified device uses a sys wrapper for net console. Here you can see the current net console server setting, which means net console server is configured for this unified AP. If the AP generates any kernel message, it will be output to this remote server. Right, but in the left side unify gateway, if I show you the exact same configuration file, you can see Ubiquiti specifically removed the Net Console module. Apparently, for some reason, Ubiquiti has made a very interesting and strange decision, which is for gateway, it doesn't output to the remote Net Console server. But for regular devices, for example, access point, they do. Okay, this is just some interesting finding I want to show you. First, let's see without enabling the Net Console in Unify Gateway, whether we can see the kernel logs. So let me disable the Net Console in Network Application, Apply Changes. Let me SSH to a Unify device. So let me choose this particular one. This is a access point Ubiquiti never released. I bought it when the early access purchase was still a thing, but later Ubiquiti never released this particular model. And because of the nature of the product, I expect more logs from kernel because it's not in a officially released status, right? Of course, Ubiquiti wants to see more logs. So let me use this device as an example. In the lower terminal, let me SSH to this access point. Remember the print K right to what? Right to a device is called kernel ring buffer. It's under DEV, name is K message. Let me list this device. This is the kernel ring buffer. To read the content, you can use a Linux command. It's called D message. It will show the kernel only messages. For example, driver events, hardware errors. So let me run it. So you can see some busy output from this device, right? That's expected for a unreleased device. If you have access to a particular device and you only want to see its own kernel message, you can use the D message command already. You don't need net console. You don't need the setting in Unify network application, right? But what if you have multiple Unify devices, you want to log the kernel 
internal related messages to a common place so that you can even view them later. You can have the history. You don't need to go into each single device one by one to collect the logs. How you can do that? It's very simple. Remember what's net console? It's simply using UDP to output kernel message to a given IP address, right? Theoretically, the so-called net console server can be super simple. You don't need any fancy tools. The command you need are available in almost all operating systems. For example, in the left side is a Mac machine. There's a very powerful command. It's called SoCat. You can use this command just in one line. You can establish a net console server. Let me show you. So let me say SoCat UDP receive 6666. This first dash means I want to output whatever it receives in standard out, which means this screen. And then I specify the UDP receive part 6666. Why this part number? In this kernel document, it suggests the logging agent to use part 6666. So that's why I specify this one. Then let me run this command. Okay, so it's waiting, right? Because now I haven't pointed the unified devices to use this net console server yet. So that's why nothing's happening. If I go to unify network application, cyber secure, go to traffic management, enable net console. Here I specify the IP address for the lower left Mac machine, then specify the 6666 port number, apply changes. Okay, so you see a lot of messages are being dumped to this net console server. So what you see in the beginning is just, okay, for all of my devices, they dump a kernel message. It says, okay, net console is enabled, right? Later, you will see some real kernel messages. Let's wait. Okay, this message, drop caches, and this keep alive, they are familiar to me because I see this type of message from the right side access point a lot. So let me confirm in the right side, let me run the message command. See, latest three, they are exactly the same as the left side. Of course, in this simple one line socket command, everything will be output to the screen, right? You cannot save them but you can simply use pipeline to output the content to whatever files you like, right? So you can see it's super convenient, super easy to establish a net console server. If you are not comfortable with this way, because it's like not very official way, right? If you are a developer, this is good enough already. But if you want to really retain or the messages for later reference, you may think about whatever SIM server. For example, Greylock. Let me log on to the upper left Greylock server. If I go to system inputs, you can see I already set up a net console input. Let me show you the input details. I use this default port number and input type. I use UDP syslog. In fact, it doesn't have to be syslog because what you see in the net console message, they are not really syslog. Let me show you what I mean. So in the lower left Mac machine, it is doing the net console server, right? At the same time, let me run Wireshark. So you can see I set a display filter, which is UDP's destination part equals to 6666. So in this way, I will only see the net console messages from unified devices. So you can see it already captured one. If I click on it, interesting thing is here, the protocol, it says syslog. Let me clarify, even though this net console setting in unified network application is under the activity logging syslog section, this particular kernel messages, which will be output to net console, they are not syslogs at all. Then you may ask, why even in Wireshark they are identified as syslog? The reason is very simple. Wireshark is not smart enough. The message is in UDP. And because the message is in pure text and it's very similar to syslog. If you expand the so-called syslog message section, you can see even Wireshark says here unknown because it is not a syslog message at all. So that's why Wireshark cannot use syslog's structure to interpret this message. 
for the same reason, when you set up the input in, let's say, gray log, let me show you. Let me try to create a new input. If you check the input type, there's no net console input type. Why? Because it's so simple. It's just UDP, right? So you can simply select syslog UDP, just like what I created here for unified net console. The only thing is you specify it as UDP, you specify the correct part number, that's it. But it comes to another side effect or disadvantage. Let me show you the received messages. The syslog structure cannot apply to the net console message. What you get? is simply this long string. And based on the nature of each type of kernel messages, you may have multiple types of messages. It will be difficult to use extractor to try to split the long string into different meaningful fields. If I like, I can define some extractor, but at this moment, I don't see the need yet because I simply want to use gray log to retain the message. This socket net console is still running. Let me kill it. And because in the gray log, I already have a net console input in the unified network application, I can simply point the net console server to the gray log. Apply changes. Then let me keep refreshing the gray log so that you can see the input. Very last thing before ending this video, let me show you the benefit by using a more powerful SIM server such as Greylog. Remember I mentioned different unified devices will send the kernel logs to this net console server, right? So in the lower left, it seems it's already doing the job, right? But you know what? It's missing a crucial information, source device. See, it simply mixed all the kernel messages in one screen. But in the gray log, see, it has a source IP address. Just by using this source field, you can easily tell this message is from which unified device. This is a very simple, very short video. I simply want to show you the interesting net console setting in Unify network application. If you work with Unify support on a particular device issue, they may ask you to provide the D message output, which is for the lower right screen. That's enough. You don't need net console. If for whatever reason you want to consolidate multiple unified devices in one single output, you can use the lower left way to simply establish a quick and dirty socket net console server. And the upper left way by using a SIM server is more official and is easier, in fact. Okay, thanks for watching.